Um, first of all, I want to thank all of you to be here and also thank you for our open uh, um, process of coordination and uh, organization. It was a pleasure to be involved and thank you also for uh, being host here today to the university. Uh, we are a quite big uh, collective of Italian people and not only Italian. Part of us was uh, in this team, so I'm Silvia Lanteri. Uh, we are uh, both, let's say, young architects living in Torino and in Milano, and let's say almost young researcher in Politecnico di Torino. Um, we already had some experiences in uh, European competitions some editions ago, and it was a very great experience uh, for uh, some of us um, because we uh, we had the occasion to start a process of collaboration with the local administration for two, three years. That was very interesting to, to learn and to grow. And so uh, we decided to, uh, to, to try to participate again after some editions. And we not only participated in this uh, site, but also in Sweden, in PTA site, where we were uh, mentioned as a special mention. Also, this project has some in common with the one uh, I will introduce today. So first of all, the coexistence uh, in between uh, uh, human and not human beings. So that was one of the main uh, uh, goals of our projects. And also the um, uh, renaturalization and reactivation of the waterfront. That was also uh, one of the main questions in, uh, in our uh, site. Um, so these are the boards, of course, of the, of the competition. Uh, we decided first of all to enlarge the scale and to look at the, a larger uh, part of, uh, of the territory. Uh, we decided first of all to uh, try to structure uh, a kind of uh, urban uh, uh, morphology, try to make a hierarchy in between the different elements uh, part of the site. So we decided to uh, put into the, the center, the, the core of our uh, reflection, the waterfront on one side, so one edge, and on the other side, the, the main road that goes here uh, inside the, the site. And we tried also to figure out what can be in between the two elements. So how to link these two elements with also uh, a chain of public space that are already there, but they are not really livable. Um, so we, first of all, we tried to, to face our project, so to understand which could be the step-by-step -step project. So. Uh, I would not describe too much because we don't have the time, but we focus on different elements. So the, the waterfront, the, the inner road, then all the public space design inside the, uh, the site, and how to, uh, to also reactivate some of the public buildings inside the site. And then uh, last step was also focused on the private uh, uh, ownership, so how to to push the private owners to invest also in ecological uh, development of, of their buildings and sites. So we tried to, as I mentioned, we tried to, uh, to understand which were the urban uh, rooms uh, creating a, a network of, uh, of different uh, ambience, different uh, spaces inside the site. So from the waterfront, uh, then if you imagine to have these sections along the three boards from the waterfront uh, in to the inner part. And then we tried also to understand how these spaces could be uh, livable, not only in the, uh, in the warm uh, season, but also in the cold ones. So how to reactivate all of them in different moments of the year. Um, we also tried to understand the different actions that could be applied in the different rooms. And we created also an abacus of tools and materials of devices to, to be implemented into the public space in order to redesign it and reactivate it. Um, I want to focus on some of these uh, elements of the atlas we saw before. First of all, we uh, we've imaged to have some uh, microarchitectures that could be um, movable inside the public space to reactivate it, uh, both to host uh, uh, private uh, uh, functions, so for example to uh, to be part of the commercial uh, development of the of the area, but also to um, to implement the. Uh, urban devices in the public space and also the, uh, the spaces uh, just to, to put some functions in between the schools and the public buildings. So this could be a, a very easy way to reactivate some spots that could be movable and changeable into times. Um, we tried also to focus a lot on the uh, design uh, of the ground of the soil uh, in order to also face the issue of the climate uh, of the space because 
of course, as you all know, we have a lot of problems related to strong winds, in, uh, especially in winter. So how also the, the soil and the vegetation could help in the, uh, in the face of this problem. So uh, in these sections, we try to sum up uh, some of the, of the main uh, goals of our project. So first of all, to encouraging the, the coexistence in between different kind of communities, both the animals and the human uh, beings but also try to make the, the waterfront uh, uh, core zone again in these sites and to use the ground design, the soil design in order to block, uh, as I mentioned before, the winds and to create uh, an inner space here around the residential part that could be livable again. Uh, and to also make uh, some uh, actions of depavement and renaturalization of the area, studying also which was the, the vegetation, let's say, local and which are the ones that could be also implemented. And then, of course, also how to uh, push uh, private owners to uh, invest in their own uh, buildings in order to make them more sustainable in the future. Uh, so here are some views just to make an idea of uh, the, the location that we, we saw before. So the waterfront could be a place to meet again. Uh, the inner road could be some space not only to go fast by car, but also to, to slow the mobility and to create also some uh, um, commercial spots that could be a place to stay and to meet. And then, of course, the application of the modular uh, microarchitecture I mentioned before in some uh, empty spaces, voids that are present on the area. And so how also that could be inhabited again by vegetation and uh, animals. So uh, we didn't focus too much about architectural uh, dimension, even if we are all architects, because uh, we thought that there was a lack in uh, the information about the developer in this area. So we wanted to more a little bit more uh, to know a little bit more what are the intentions in investment. But of course, one of the main topics is uh, how to reactivate the space in order to then create uh, uh, a new uh, kind of buildings and new kind of functions also by the developers. So, sorry to be very fast, but I think the time is uh, short. So thank you.